Battleships Crossfire. It's battleships. They fire when they cross. You need to get certain types of equipment. A hole to protect yourself, wood that you can use to repair yourself, and most importantly, weapons that are automatically firing all the time. So you don't manually fire in this apart from the ship's cannon, which is an ability. You're always just automatically firing. And you need to pick weapons that adjust to your playstyle. So I'm going to go with the 1500 range because I'm going to get stream sniped if I try to go for anything shorter range and try to hide in the shallows or something like that to take some people out. Probably not going to work so well for me. People are going to know I'm doing it. Whereas they can't deal with someone that's got 1500 range. Okay. Grind your gold and captain's cannon. You want, want to build the other stuff. long range cannon. Grind your gold and captain cannon. Or you could do the tainted thing where he just trades all the time and doesn't actually play the game. Okay, so you start off with your little ship here. Your equipment is over here, so there's your wood. Which weak, uh, I guess you get the starting one. Weak repair wood. Just something to start you off. Keep you in the fight. It's got a bit of a cooldown to it though. It's got a 60 second cooldown. So you want weak wood. What about a light sail as well? Increases your speed. Stone hull, the first generation hull. And I can't actually really afford any other weapons, so I'm just going to go with that for now. And use my basic weapon, because you always start off with one single cannon. It's 20 damage, 650 range. Hopefully I can just stay in there long enough to get enough gold to start getting the cannon towers. The rocket towers, but I've got weak repair wood. So that will basically, it's like a health potion basically, that will heal you. One single cannon, so 20 damage. Every 1.5 seconds it will attack. There you go. And that will do approximately 13.33 DPS, or you hope to get the last hit. What was that? That was fine. Was that. What did you just fire? Beer thrower. So I've got an ability. I might want to actually get Captain's Cannon here just so I can manually kill things. 40 damage. So I might want to time that to get the last hits of things. Like that. Every little bit of gold helps until I can eventually get up. My audio setup isn't listed in my specs. What mic and amp am I using? I don't think I use an amp. I don't know what you mean exactly by that. I do use the ATR2100, I think it is. ATR2100, ATR2300, something like that. So that helps me out. Coming in for the last hit, if I can get that. Come on. 23 gold. Nice. I think I need 225 gold for the... Oh, thank you, TK, and for the host. For the 66 First views. Thank one. you very much there. Um, yes. I, blimey, we've got these sounds, have we? I'm going for speed and captain's cannon for now. You can use... Oh, did it auto-repair use my weak wood? Or did I press that? Either way, that's gone off now and that's healed me up. Because you saw I took a little bit of damage. You may as well get that going. It doesn't hurt too much. There's the other players. Azeroth's got a net. And Embermon's there. Are you sure you want to go for this, Ember? You sure, mate? Yeah, be careful, mate. So those are the other actual players. These are the NPCs. It's a little bit hard to distinguish them, but the more you get used to the game, the more you can tell. But you can buy new boats. It does cost a lot more to get those new boats, though. And they might change the style of their ship, but if they're moving erratically like that, you can probably tell it's another player. It makes you able to grind. If I have a hard time trying to last hit, I would recommend getting a fishing pole. It helps grind gold without being too much behind. Well, what's the fishing pole do? Never seen it before. I'm new to this game, really. There are also three gold coin on the map that are worth 150 gold each. One in the center, one on the left, one where the wood saw building is, and one on the right where the tavern is. So I guess people that are familiar with the map might get a head start in that regard. I should really use this Captain's Cannon on cooldown to some degree, if it's definitely going to get me a last hit, because it's got no mana cost, so I'm not losing mana or anything like that. No real punishment there, but it's no point using it at the moment, because the cooldown is pretty long, 25 seconds. Save it for when this goes. It only does 40 damage, so... Or 74 damage now, so I've got to try to... And people can gank you from the middle bit here, so be careful. Also, that's really aggressive, Ember. Getting a little stun there. I'm going to chase him. Oh no, he's got his heal. Probably best not to chase him down. It's a trap. 
Now you're automatically fire into the the net the possible target. I think it randomly attacks whatever, but probably goes for the nearest target most of the time. So you want to angle yourself so that you're always hitting the target that looks like you're going to get a kill from it. For example, this one over here. So if I go over to the right slightly, I'm more likely to get close enough to it. Because I need to be within 650 range, which is roughly right where I am right now. Just going to use my heal. Because I may as well just use that, even though I could heal a bit more. 350 gold. I could sit here for a little bit longer, wait till I get to like 450, then go back for double cannons. There is a trick you can use to camouflage your ship. To hide your ship. Uh, what's this trick then? There's lots of backseat gaming going on at the moment. <laughs> no, last hit on that one. 914 gold. Okay, so we've got some gold from the Empire. So every now and then the Empire gives you a whole bunch of gold. That's definitely more than enough gold to go back and try to get some upgrades. Do I just go mass, mass weapons here? You can try to do it without farming gold or you can use the fish to regen health. I'm not familiar with the fishing pole thing, so I might stop off that. Also, I could get a different boat, to be honest, the Interceptor faster. But I think we'll settle for the weapons for now. I think the weapons do transition. It's a double rocket cannon. And then I can do that again, I think. Inventory. I need to put down an item so I can fill up the inventory. Pick that item up, and now I've got double rocket cannons. So if you certain weapons, if you buy them more than once, it will combine into another item, such as this, the double rocket cannon. So it only takes out one space, which is pretty handy. You can also obviously sell your one single cannon. So I've got two double rocket cannons. The double double cannon. Look at that. Now look at him attack. <laughs> He's crazy. But it's 1500 range, so if I want to hit this one, I want to stay far away from those ones so I'm not within attack range of them. Do you see what I mean? To try to get the last hit. It doesn't do much damage but it's consistent. And it's huge range. No, still not going to get the last hit on that. Embermon, watch out. He's got the attacks on me. But he's had to go in quite deep to get to me. The chase is on. I can't manually make my ship attack him all the time, though, so they're going to start splitting off to these guys. Buy two, and from here you buy bombardments. Is that the bombard cannons? Because those cost 1,500 gold each, I think. They're quite expensive. You can combine the rocket with the double cannon. Dumb double bombard cannon. I'll try it. 1,500 range and attack speed is like 2.5, and it's auto-fire. Yeah, it's pretty good. But... At the same time, you'll find that people have speedy ships that have abilities to wind walk and move really quickly and can do tons of damage up range. We'll actually just be able to like one shot you or kill you so quickly you can't react to it properly. I've had that problem last time I played this. You might also want to make the game mode no trade off because this might make the game imbalance for one side. Yes, what Tainted was doing last time, which I think he probably is doing again this time. I don't know actually. I'm not watching him. I would like to get the last hits though. Come on now. Look at this. One, two. So they're attacking every 0 0.5 seconds. So there's two of them doing that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. The closer you go towards enemy territory, the more likely you are to get ganked from here or from here because you can travel through the middle and you can't see anything in the middle unless you've got fish in there. Ah. There's the trade. <laughs> Tonk Master was doing the trade. You can tell because of the type of vehicle he had. It was a very fragile vehicle, but he can make good money if he doesn't get killed. He did just get killed, though. <laughs> I'm going to take a risk and go through the middle here just so I can pick off anything on this side. That ship that he had only has like about 100 health. At the moment, you can see I've got 350 health. I could actually upgrade my ship rather than get the Bombard Cannon. I might do it, actually, because I think you can only have one type of each ship. So if someone else buys the Interceptor, for example, then you can't buy it. At least that's the experience I felt like I had last time. So let's try, shall we? Get back to base. Is the Warcraft 3 community still active for these type of games? I haven't checked in a while. Uh, it is a little bit desolate. I think do people do still play in their clans and stuff like that. I definitely play. Oh, there we go. The Interceptor. He'll do for now. I might actually be able to upgrade to a next level hull. No, I can't. 
I could get the great sale. A slight upgrade. May as well whilst I'm here. There we go. You already have a sale or a hole. Oops, I sold the other thing. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, what am I going to settle for? Now I kind of want the bronze hole now that I've held out on all of that. Ah, damn it. I sold the wrong thing. Let's go for a little bit of combat. See if I can get a little bit of um, gold from these and then go back for a bronze hole. An upgrade. Just to keep this ship alive as well. Because when you upgrade your ship, you do get more damage as well. Uh, yeah, no, I get a lot of games, uh, good communities to sort of play with. So I'm fortunate in that regard, but I can understand it's tricky. Intercept. Cause your boat to move fast. Oh, there we go. That was the one that had wind walk. Thank you very much there, Kanak Twitch, for subscribing. Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. So, yeah, I think um, Intercept... Oh, well, there he is. Look at him. He's, like, invulnerable for a very brief amount of time there. But Intercept, that's the one. Someone had that. They kept... They... That's a good ability for someone that's going to um, s essentially suicide. There's a suicide strategy where you just sort of charge and barge into people. I don't know if it kills you as well. Or whether it does amount, a certain amount of damage of your ship's health. But does way more to them. But yeah, you can use this ability. You move 60% faster for 10 seconds to intercept other boats or flee. So that's a really good ability. So if anyone's coming to gank you, my god, that's a good ability. So getting the interceptor is really, really, really good. That makes the bronze hole less enticing because I don't need all that much health, I suppose. But ah, uh, why not? You got to get a good hull. You got to get a good repair. You got to get good weapons. You need the good balance of all of them and sails, ideally. If you get sails, they'll increase your speed. At the moment, you can see once I bought that bronze hull, I'm moving slower by ten percent. It slows you down. I might be able to kill him if I keep up with the interceptor. If I get too close to the towers, though. Come on. Come on. He's going for it. Yo. Come on. No, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, my God. Wow, that was some bad luck. Because as you can tell, your ship auto attacks, yeah. Your ship auto attacks. But it auto attacks random targets. There was obviously one very obvious target there. And knowing my luck, it decided to attack everything apart, apart from him to the point where it left him with 11 health. That was insane. Only I could do that. Only I could definitely do that. Anyone else, 100% would have killed him before he even got close to going back. Ah, <sighs> Ridiculous. It's a bad idea to chase, but that was basically a guaranteed kill. But it was based on RNG, and that's where I made the mistake, because my RNG is fucking terrible. These actually... Do they attack ships only? So you can't... I think you need to get the Bombard Tannin or something like that to be able to attack buildings. As you can see, I can only attack boats. I need to be able to attack ships only. What's going on on this side? Have they got a lot of traders? Yes, they do. Because he can move quick, but for a brief amount of time. And then the attack is on, and he's only invulnerable for a short time. So you're... He just went invisible. I don't know what that was. But I assume he's probably going to turn back on himself. Yeah, there he is. So he had the... Ah, they're here as well. But we're also here, so let's let the gank begin. Let's get him. He's going to go all in. Who's going to get the last hit? True Watch has downed him. I'm surprised I didn't get, like, a assistance. Normally, if you help to kill someone, you get an assistance. But apparently, True Watch is going to get all the credit there. I'm a lane pusher with this build. Okay, I'll try to stick more to lane pushing. That was a one-off circumstance, though, wasn't it? He was killable. It's just... It didn't give it to me. He was totally killable. Everyone is taking the trading route. You can see the gold on the side, so I reckon tainted is trading. Yeah, that was tainted. So he's on the enemy team. I'm just going to stand here then. He's going to need his team to bail him out. Unless he can take a long route out. He's gone wind walk. He'll be over here in a second. 
I can't really stop him. Yeah, there you go. He's over there, I think. I need more powerful weapons to be able to actually put a threat on him. This is where you need someone with good melee damage or short range damage, but high damage to keep an eye. He can always trade in different places, but for now I think he likes that spot by the looks of it. T is the hotkey for intercept, not windwalk. I like my windwalk though, my W for windwalk. Should try to use the ship. Oh no, I don't have the ship's cannon anymore because I changed my ship. There he is, look. What's he doing? Go the other side. Ah. One either side. So he's got multi cannon, one single cannon. So I don't think he's got. I think he's got long range stuff as well, by the looks of it. Or no, actually, five hundred range. Sixteen hundred gold. So I should probably start to get the bombard cannon thingy, so I can really start putting some actual threat and damage down the lane. Because at the moment I'm a little bit lackluster. Okay, so the Bombard Cannon, that's the one I want, isn't it? It attacks ships only, though. Don't I want something that can attack a building? So I can actually push ships and structures. But that's 500 range. I think you still want to go for that Bombard Cannon because it stacks into something else that might actually be useful later on. Our ally's town needs help. Great sail. Goblin sail. I could just go for that. That's a lot of speed. You're not going to upgrade that. You can combine certain items to get even better versions. And elsewhere on the map, there's even more powerful weapons and ships and stuff like that to use. You recommend committing to the harass build. So harassing actual other players rather than the buildings. So bombard cannon, then I assume. Bombardments. You say bombardments. If I is this is that what you mean? Because the moment I click on that, you're going to say that's not what you mean. I don't see what bombardments is otherwise. Our allies town needs help. Oh yes, it is. Okay. Fair enough then. Our allies town needs help. I'll get the great sale. That'll do for now. See, I'll move quite a bit faster now. That gives me an extra 3.2. If you do this, you can tell how fast you move. 18 to 26. I've already got a fairly fast ship. But that hole does slow me down a bit. So is trading overpowered in this game then? Because I'm going to assume that it is. Because so many people keep trying to do it. Not actually trying to play the game. Because it's too hard to push against. If you could attack towers normally, it would probably be a bit more balanced. Where if someone decided to go trading, sure. They can get themselves extra gold. Oh, wow. Okay, I just killed Tainless. <laughs> Didn't even try. You can get extra gold. But you risk your towers being destroyed. Like in a normal Dota, Aeon or Strife type game. But in this... I can't touch those towers, so I can only kill the ships and then that's it. You recommend upgraded bombardments and then recommend going goblin hull and repair crew. So, double bombard cannon then. If you want to see the item you are making, just look at the troll hut in the middle. Other right lane. So over here. Troll combiner. Pirate's Cannon combined, double basic cannon, double cruiser, Pirate's Cannon. Ah, two rocket packs and a rock bombard. But I don't have a rock bombard. Double rocket pack and rock bombard. That's a rock bombard, so you need double rocket cannon and double bombard cannon. Then you get that and then you upgrade that. But obviously that's a little bit later on as you upgrade. Alright, let's trash this place. I might get a little bit of heal over time. 
on top of my straight up hill. But all my weapons are like 1500 range, as you can see. Our allies town needs help. What the hell? Is that the Goblin Empire attacking us on the Our bottom side? We're the Japanese Empire, which is basically the south. And then the north is what? The Norwegian Empire. I'm a level 10 interceptor. Tonkmaster's only level 6. He's got a brig, though. I, the brig is really big. 2,500 health. Ah, here comes a gank. Watch out. I don't know what's what he's capable of, so I'm just going to keep my distance. And then go back in for the greed. Yeah. Okay. Time to go back for another double bombard. Goblins is basically harassers. You can only have two of them. But yeah, they har they're like neutral party, aren't they? They harass. They irritate. And they try to get gold that way. I don't know how the goblins win, though. Inventory is full. So, we can go over here and repair. That heals up your ship if you sit in it. So I've got the double bombard cannon. And the double rocket cannon. So then I want to look to going back to that when I get 1,000-ish gold, I think, to get the rock bombard. Sweet. It does take a bit of getting used to this game. It's not super complicated, but it's a little daunting at the start. Especially if you get off to a rough start. After destroying both factions, they win. So they have to kill both of us. That's, that's not an easy... That's a bit of a tall order, isn't it? I think I'm always going for the wind walk speed, just in case. Either to catch up or to keep away. It's always a bit of a risk to go through the middle here. But I have got that intercept. Which I think is a little overpowered, if I'm honest. Rock Bombard, 1350. Sweet. Small sailor crew. They repair your ship, but attacking enemy near ships nearby. So if you, it's not repairing your ship. Thanks, so. it's, it's not repairing your ship, but attacking enemy ships nearby. So you need to keep close. How are they able to attack people 1,200 range again away? Apparently they can. they got very long arms. Increases the sail speed. Guitar thrower. Uh-oh. What's going on? Okay, we're okay. You're okay. Tonk master. It's looking rough for you and your internet connection. <laughs> Tonksy's main source of gold. Yeah. And kills. <laughs> He's bullying him. He's off. You're one down now. Always feels good when you're one down, doesn't it? Hey, not much we can do about that, unfortunately. Internet connections, 2017. Let's go. That's unfortunate. I mean, it can happen. You, your internet connection gets just get straight up disconnected. That's the way it works in Warcraft 3. If you if you lose your internet connection for just even a split second, you're out. There's no coming back. There's no reconnection. Not in this. Also, that's crazy. Oh, you were trying to do that while you remember. Clutch moment there. Right, I want to get that rock bombard. Combined! Sweet, so I don't even have to drop items to, to do that. So now that only takes up like, one space. And it does probably the same job, I would assume. 1500 range, 32 damage. 91.4 DPS. I assume that was roughly about the same. Maybe it's slightly different, maybe slightly worse, slightly better. Not entirely sure, but it definitely only takes one spot, which is definitely an improvement. Who wants the body massage? So the trading is, yeah, like you say, it's a bit of a risky move. If the trader feeds too much, then it's GG. If the trader gets away with murder, then, well, they get away with murder. They get all the gold. And then they give that gold to the Empire, which then distributes it amongst the other players. Which is where we're getting some of the gold from. Uh-oh, watch out. You might want to heal. You going to do a last second clutch heal? Oh, uh, I guess he did. Nope. How <laughs> one of my... One of my missiles must have just caught him at the end there. That Wyvern attack from that tower. Pretty long range. 1400 range. 
That's to stop you from camping too close. But I've got 15 under range, so I'm going to attack anything that's here. The last missile. The very last missile. Okay. There's not many of you to kill, though. I can't help but wonder if this would be a better game if it was 5 versus 5 or 6 versus 6. I don't mind it being a smaller, more sort of intimate amount of players, but at the same time it doesn't feel like there's many people to kill at the moment. Too many of you are trading or something. I'm ready to buy another bombardment. Do I want another bombardment though? I have to look that recipe thing up again in a second. Stop trading everyone, because if someone's trading then you're not getting any gold. This isn't an RPG. I don't know if it's possible to win this game. It takes so long. I'm gonna have to start getting more and more gold. Upgrade fast. You can play a short version of this game now. I think there is an option to just play a burst level where everything you probably level up much quicker and stuff like that. Nice damage. Alright, let's go back. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. So I needed the rocket pack tree, didn't I? Rock bombard and two rocket packs. So I could get two rocket packs now. And then get that. Two rocket packs. Two rocket packs. Just make sure that rocket packs aren't something else. Okay. They probably are something at the back here. Uh, are they rocket cannons though? When you get two rocket cannons, do they combine into a rocket pack? It doesn't tell you what it turns into. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying the right thing here. Ah, rocket pack. Whoa, 5,600 gold, is it? Right. That might take some time. I'm going to save up my money then. I don't seem to have anyone threatening me right now, so I'll just keep on holding on to my cash. Look for that tainted guy with his trading. Am I invisible whilst I'm doing this? No, I'm not. I'm just damn fast. No, I want the goblin hull and sails and then upgrade. Goblin hull. Cut tainted off his trading. <laughs> See if I can find the bugger. People are all the way over here. Don't know what on earth they're doing apart from potentially trading. But he's not a trading vessel, is he? He's got tax. Maybe he's looking for him. That one's the one that get, is dangerous if it gets up close, I think. I think so. At least I can clear both lanes really easily. Overclock being attacked from behind. I think he's okay. Tainted is down. Apple Pie managed to find him. Or catch him. Because like I say, that ship is so vulnerable. And here it goes. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if you're going to win or I'm going to win this one, actually. <laughs> I might want to back off there. Your, your ship looks small, but at the same time, you seem to be doing better than me. Might need to back off. Give me my heal. Goblin hull and sails and then upgrade. So the goblin sail. Or the gold hull and the goblin sail. Or the goblin hull. Hmm. I guess I'll just get it. There we go, I've got them both. Twenty three out of twenty six knots. Very nice. So that's some damn good speed and that's some damn good damage reduction. Twenty percent speed. Oh, 
extra bounty if you die, though, whilst you're holding on to it. So that's always the risk. By having all that extra armor, if someone does actually manage to kill you, which this little fella wants to try it. I think he's a uh, very up close range. Intercept! <gasps> Was that the suicide? Overclock has crusaded. Was that the suicide strat? I, I don't understand that vessel because I've never used it before. I might have to do it next time I play this. Just pure suicide. You need fission though, in order to attack all of this stuff. Right. So how do I upgrade the Goblin Cell and the Gold Hull? What does that upgrade into? Do you combine those, much like you upgrade and combine the Rock Bombard? Yeah, these ships don't stand a chance versus this, do they? Goblin Potion Dealer, huh? Yeah, that's always the risk, isn't it, with it being a trader. Is you just walk around a dark corner or something like that, and then boom. Are you trying to get me again? I can't tell what that ship is doing properly. I need to hold on to him. Double blue laser, 420 range. 1500 bonus. There's Mom. Keep up with the Mom. Get him. Gold is slow, so I can understand why you have a trader, because it's quite difficult to get gold. Pure suicide only works in the beginning of the game. As soon as people get better hull, it's pretty useless. Oh, I see. So it's a good start for the end, at the start of the game. And then you move on. So many different weapons and things to buy in this game. At the building next to where I bought it. So if I went back now, at the building next to where I bought these, there's a thing to upgrade or something. Gold sale and goblin sale. Yep, that's the one. I now have the upgraded gold hull. Alright, that's cool. I like those combos. I should get a mechanics crew, shouldn't I, or something at some point? You want a like a, a goblin repair crew, which is the best. So that's your that's your hole with your sail combination, and that's your repair crew with something else. Goblin repair crew and goblin repair wood. There's probably sometimes I think there's some better items, like in these more obscure places that really cost a stupid amount of gold. But this is a good guide. Goblin repair crew. So I can't get Goblin Repair Crew from here, so I assume you get them from one of the outskirt areas. I should get a Swedish repair team. <laughs> the Swedish... the Swedes are better than the Goblins. I have to push down the lane a little bit more now. Until I can start attacking towers. I need to find a way to attack towers, otherwise this game is never going to end. I can clear the waves quite good, but at the moment they're trading all the time, so we need to put more pressure on. And killing a bunch of ships every now and then isn't enough pressure. You want to pressure down the lanes, down the actual towers. At the gold mine symbol is the goblins. Goblin bottom right corner. So what that? Or one over here. Alright, let's try over here then. Our warriors have engaged. Oh. Don't want to go that way. The goblins have very nasty towers. They killed me last time I got close to that area. They don't like that.
Elven Library. Our allies' town needs help. Oh, quite a few people just died there, didn't they? Am I going to get destroyed by towers again? Hmm. If I go down that way, probably yes. Okay, Diamond Hole. So that's a really expensive one. Goblin Repair Wood and Goblin Repair Crew. Our allies Yikes. Help. 5,000 gold each. I really understand why you would have a trader. It's too late for me to turn back into a trader now though, isn't it? But you need one person just doing the boring job, going back and forth, making the money. Whilst the rest fight it. But I need I need something to destroy those towers. That's what it comes back to. Oh, there's... Killing <laughs> Just have a little look every now and then down those lanes. Tainted is down. Getting a Swedish repair crew, because it's cheaper, is it? Where's the Swedish repair crew, then? What makes the Swedes so good? Are they over here or something? Ah, oh, the Swedes are over here. Right you are. I think that ship does more damage. I could have gone short range in this one, couldn't I? Because they don't have many ships that are threatening too much damage. Nice stun. If they have too many ships, though, with long range, going short range is bad. That's what I experienced the last time I played. <laughs> Okay, Kamikaze Owl, Swedish Repair Crew, 2600, and Swedish Repair Wood. And I assume you have the combination down here for Swedish. Yeah. Probably good enough, isn't it, the Swedish? The Swedes are good enough. Repair me, Swedes. The medium range build, so I'd actually swap my weapons out to something else. I still need to be able to damage those towers. That's what I really want to have. Because otherwise I'm never going to end this game. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't mind playing, but... I like there to be more of a progress towards ending the level. If you see what I mean. At the moment, it's we're no further than we were 20, 30 minutes ago. Charge! I'm actually having to farm them now outside of those middle lanes. Hello there, Raisin. Weird stuff over here. Looks like water based vehicles. Overclocked, you're coming to steal my kills. No, I work so hard on this. Look at them. I get no gold for any of that. What a twat. Our allies' town needs help. I want whatever's going to kill the towers best. I'm going back for the Swedish repair wood.
poor Ember. I hope your team is doing something valuable for you with this trading. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Tells you the prices as well in brackets, which is good. Yeah, I think the map is great, but it's a little slow. I definitely agree with you on that. So that's why I want to speed the process up. So I've got upgraded everything. Rock Bombard, Swedish Repair Crew, 4,000 health. And they also heal 30 hit points a second. Extra speed, extra armor as well on top of that. And the double rocket cannon with that. And then I need to get the other thing, which costs like 5,600 gold. But maybe I don't. I'll go and I'll actually have a look if it destroys buildings. It was the rocket battery. Ships only, again. I need something that's just... I'd almost be willing to go pure siege and not even hurt enemy boats. And I'll just avoid the enemy boats because I've got the capability of doing it. You would recommend a speed build. I recommend the bow crew. What the hell's the bow crew? Is that the one with the light... the bow over here? I mean, look how much there is. It's crazy. Napalm ship. So, five flamer cannons. Gigantic. So, these are all the big boys. 1,400 gold for these lads. I wonder if you could just feed someone. No, you can't. That would be an easy way to win. At the start of the base is the bow crew. I probably can't afford them, though. Dodo of Extinction, so it fires Dodos. 491 DPS, slightly more than what I'm doing at the moment. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Goblin gunship. That looks expensive. So I assume you don't done some trading or something as well, True Watch. I assume can you trade without having to be a trader ship? Do you see what I mean? Can you just trade if you're a normal battleship? I don't even know how the trading works in this. Ah. They don't let you in. I don't even know what was going on there. The chase is on. In the enemy base. It's gonna go well for me. I can tell that to your face. Remember the last time I tried to go through a gate? Yeah. It didn't go too well for me. Hey, I got some gold. How do you know? How do you fancy that? He didn't take all of it. Put some pressure on these boys. 8,700 health, you little shit. You've got like a super overpowered ship. The intercepts are so damn good though. They're getting away.
So what was I trying to do again? I kind of forgotten, but now by this point, I got the Swedish repair kit crew. I want the bow crew. Where was the bow crew again? Don't know what all that's about. You can make your own ship, apparently. You got individual. This is like you can individually buff your ship. Oh, is that for the build your own ship, though? Or does that work on my ship right now? I'm not blind, I just don't see it. The bow crew, I'm hovering over it. I don't see anything that says bow crew. Bowman crew, there you go. Even then, it's not called the bow crew, they're called the bowman crew. Does it double up? Apparently it does. I'm getting bloody hungry. <laughs> Let's push this agenda. Although I don't know if we can now, because they've, they've had so much time to trade and get gold from the trading that now they've got way more powerful ships. Of cocktail. Our allies' town needs help. There's one left, boys. Finally, we can actually push this lane. Shit, that is. But it looks legit to me. Yar.
Oh, okay. I don't know what that was. Nice ability you got there. Okay, I'll be back. So what you're saying, Chotto, is you should ban trading in this game. It's the only way to speed it up, though. I guess you just have to play... You ban trading, and then you pick the mode which speeds the gameplay up. That way, everyone has to fight. Everyone has to play the game, rather than just going back and forth to a freaking goblin shop or something like that. Slowly getting money over time. Not actually doing anything. More of a threat. But the game isn't strictly a Dota game, is it? Let's face it, it's more of an exploration style adventure type game. Buy better ships. I've only got 2,700 gold. I'm pretty sure that all the better ships cost like 14,000. So what do I buy now? Just more Bowman Crews or something that combines with the Bowman Crews that I'm not familiar with right now? You see the orange bow recipe for upgrading the weapon. What's the orange bow recipe then? Where would I find that? Become a pirate and steal someone else's ships. Can you do that? <laughs> Possession, charm, the banshee ability, or rather the uh, dark ranger. I think that's tr he's trying to put me into a trap there or something. I'll just sit to doing some damage over time here, shall I? They got a pirate cannon. That's a biggie. He's a big ship, but he doesn't do all that much damage. Because he's probably put more resources into something that's going to be safer, more protected. Than something that's actually going to do DPS. Yeah, you can see he hasn't got many items. As a rock's in trouble. But has he got that overpowered ability that's going to one-shot me? Fuck. My damage just keeps spreading out to all the towers and that when you get that close to their base. You would recommend selling my bombardments and then go for full bowman crew. Okay. So how do I get the full bowman crew? It says it can't be doubled. So you can't double up on that. So I need something similar to the bowman. Either way, we're getting through it. I'm sure Tainted is trading again, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not actually. Sorry, he's in that ship now. He's stopped trading. He's got enough gold. He's got enough gold that he feels comfortable to move on. Our oh my god. So much health on these buildings. You just buy two more and then two plus two equals four. Yeah, but this says it can't be doubled. You just want more Bowman Crews. Is there nothing else I can combine the Bowman crew into for something more powerful? I'll see the recipe. Yeah, I'll look for it. I'm heading there now. Two Bowman crews and a double arrow cannon. Double arrow cannon. Double arrow cannon! Aha! I see. Our allies' town needs help. Let's go. Let's beast it down. How much was it again? Do do do. It's nine. Oh, that's cheap. Seems all white to me. 150 damage per second, so it's not huge, but it's 1,000 range. It's pretty damn long. Of 
Quietness. Stops all ships in the area from using abilities. I didn't even notice that ability. Oh, God. So it's silence. Stops those spells. I need three of those marksman crews. Ah, so I just keep stacking those up then. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll probably head back soon when I get another injection of gold. But whilst I'm up here at the front, may as well get the crew to work. Yeah, you can't use your ability. I just silenced you. I don't know how long that works for, though. For one second. <laughs> okay. One second I'll have to do, I guess. That's what she said. Ah, I'm being bullied. I see the guitars in the uh, ocean there. Yep, he's almost down. Get him. I'm, I'm trying to help you out, Overclocked. He, he looks like he's pretty damn aggressive, though. Oh, yes, recommended to sell the Bombard Cannon. Right you are. Okay, let's head back then, shall we? This is on such a crazy short cooldown. 20 seconds is really reasonable. It lasts for 10 seconds. So, sell the Rock Bombard. So, I'm not going to do any damage to these other guys. Sell the Double Rocket Cannon. So, it's two, arrow, two Bowmans and two Arrow Cannons. Double arrow cannon. And then over here for 1900 gold, you get the next marksman. <laughs> the chase is on. <laughs> Look at them chase over there. Whilst they're having their little PvP battles, I'm going to keep threatening their ships. Yar! Oh my god. They're onto my strategy. I haven't got repair crew for like another 15 seconds or something. Good thing I'm bloody fast. <laughs> I've silenced them. Uh, what we need is we need two people doing this then. Two people trying to destroy their bases. Oh, hello. That's an enemy. They're all enemies. Ah. How do I keep jumping into them? We need two people trying to destroy their bases so they can't just chase me off. They have to chase two people off. I don't really have any bad stuff, though. Any more to sell. That's good. That's good. And obviously those are my weapons. Let's do this. Our allies town needs help. Aha! Take that. No repair for me. After I got a free marksman crew, I should consider getting a submarine. It's in the shipyard just outside my base. And then commit to fully torpedo. Let's see if we can get that far. <laughs> it's the Dark Gandalf. He seems, unfortunately, quite bad.
He's only got a gentle heal. It's such a straight and narrow map, though, that there's only really one path I can take to get up there. I can't sort of hit different parts of the map, so they can't be at all places at the same time. Like, that's all in the same area. I think we'll have to call a draw. Because this is never going to end otherwise. Save? No, I think what we'll do is we'll take this as a lesson learned and in future just play modes where you have no trading and you play the short version. Team killer. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm going to call it good game. I'm going to call GG to it because it's never going to end, is it? It's going to take me half a freaking... No, half an hour is being genu generous. I think it's going to take like an hour to an hour and a half to honestly get through that base. If they don't already destroy us, that's assuming that we win on that case, so we don't know. So yeah, I think uh, if a future game plays, play the shortest game mode, like that accelerates the speed of everyone leveling up and stuff like that, and the amount of gold you get. Because it just takes, how long have we been playing this now? Probably an hour, and I'm probably, you would say roughly about 40 to 50% through the game, in terms of how much more powerful ships and items you can get. So, I think 40, maybe even 30%, truly, on terms of getting, like, to maximum. Like, you've fully kitted out the most awesome ultimate ship. I think I'm only 30% of the way there. So, I think you need to just accelerate it and just cancel trading so that people can't just skip the gameplay for, like, 45 minutes and then get, like, way more gold than everyone else and then finally start playing the game with their overpowered ships. Because that's why he was doing it, in case you weren't sure. That's why Tainted was doing it. There's a reason he does it. Sacrifices. I can't get away with that. No one's going to watch me go back and forth between this building to this building for 45 minutes making money. So, that's BS. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Thank you everyone very much for watching it. And uh, take care. I call it a draw. A pirate's parlay. Yar.